Virtual reality has been around longer than you probably think. The Telesphere mask, patented in 1960 by inventor Morton Helig, was the first head-mounted VR. But the idea of VR technology dates well back to the 1800s. So how has VR gaming evolved over the years? Here's the evolution of VR gaming headsets. 1989 to 1990, the Power Glove. The Power Glove released in 1989. It's the earliest VR gaming product released to consumers. Inspired by Data Glove, a glove developed by programmers at VPL Research under Atari, that sensed the wearer's finger movement and translated the same into a computer. The Power Glove was designed for the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES. Specifically, it could be used with the Super Glove Ball and Bad Street Brawler games. By the time it was discontinued in 1990, it had sold about 1 million units. 1991 – Virtuality Arcade Gaming Machines 1991 saw an increase in virtual reality gaming devices for the public. Ahead of the pack was the Virtuality Group, who launched arcade games where users wore specially developed VR goggles and experienced immersive stereoscopic 3D visuals in real time. Some of these machines even allowed multiplayer gaming. 1994 – Sega's VR1 Motion Simulator Having attempted to develop VR glasses in 1993 but failing due to technical issues, Sega released an arcade motion simulator dubbed the VR1. The headset moved according to what was presented on screen and was soon a common feature in Sega World Arcades. 1995 – The Virtual Boy Interest in VR tech increased even more in the early 90s, and in 1995, Nintendo developed the Virtual Boy. This device was designed to be used as a portable head-mounted console and featured a red monochrome display. However, it needed to be placed on a stand or tabletop when in use. The reception and sales of the Virtual Boy were underwhelming, to say the least, and currently it holds the record for the lowest-selling standalone console by Nintendo with less than 1 million units sold. 2010 – Oculus Prototype is Unveiled Development of VR gaming devices stalled for the rest of the 90s and early 2000s, as the cost remained prohibitively high. Even arcade VR headsets proved quite expensive to maintain. It was not until 2010 that a major announcement came along – the Oculus Rift headset prototype by Palmer Luckey. The Oculus Kickstarter campaign soon followed this announcement in 2012, raising $2.5 million in funding. Two years later, Oculus was officially acquired by Meta, then Facebook, for a cool $2 billion. 2014 PlayStation VR and HTC Vive headset projects announced. The Oculus announcement and subsequent interest by social media giant Meta brought about a snowball effect. Virtual reality was a hot topic again. In 2014, Sony Computer Entertainment announced that it was working on a VR headset for the PlayStation 4 console, a project dubbed Project Morpheus. In the same year, HTC announced that it was working on its first ever VR headset, dubbed the HTC Vive, in partnership with Valve Corporation. 2016 – Oculus Rift, PlayStation VR, and HTC Vive are released. 2016 was a good year for VR gaming. After being in development for more than four years, the first generation of the Oculus Rift was finally released in March of 2016. A month later, the consumer version of the HTC Vive headset was released. A first version had been unveiled earlier at the HTC's Mobile World Congress keynote in 2015. And in October, Sony released their headset for the PS4. The headset was designed to be forward compatible, which meant that it was also compatible with the PS5 released later. As of 2019, the Sony VR headset has sold over 5 million units. 2017 – The Xbox One X Hot on the heels of its competitors, Microsoft soon launched the Xbox One X, a console compatible with VR games and headsets. In partnership with Oculus VR, its users could stream Xbox One games to the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset through the Xbox app for Windows 10. 
2018, Oculus Go, Oculus Quest, and the Half Dome prototypes. In 2018, Oculus teased their new VR headsets. The Oculus Half Dome prototypes allowed users to adjust the lens to focus on an area of interest, and offered a wider view without undermining an object's size, shape, and other physical attributes. The same year, Meta released its first untethered Oculus Go headset and the Oculus Quest. Going into the future While the VR gaming industry has been rather quiet since 2018, many projects are rumored to be in the works, and with the growing interest in mixed reality and the metaverse, we could see the industry transform rapidly in the coming years. Meta is still working on Oculus 2 and 3 prototypes. As for Sony, it recently announced that a PlayStation VR 2 was in production during the 2022 Consumer Electronics Show. Now over to you. Where do you see virtual reality in the next few years? Will it replace computers and smartphones? For more evolution videos about VR, hit the subscribe button right now. See ya!